Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. Let's go ahead and ground. This is not going to be for everybody. This is not going to be for everybody. This is not going to be for everybody. So I was sitting at my desk yesterday and there was something very specific about somebody being picked on, somebody being um, very evil, very nasty, very um, devious to somebody because of a difference, because of their skin tone, very, dis very um, specifically. I don't know like if you're, what race you are. Whatever race you are, whether you're African American, whatever it could, you could even um, be Caucasian and have uh, children that are um, biracial. But it was somebody that was very specifically talking about the way somebody's skin tone looked, and this was a um, young woman. This was a woman that was um, that was getting talked about. Okay, so this is like it was very like, and it, it it was very disgusting to me. It was very disgusting. Whoever you are, you're very beautiful. This person has some insecurities within themselves, okay? Let's go ahead and put some tarot on it right away. Spirit's telling me to use the wisdom of Oracle first, though, so let me go ahead and do so. Y'all know I always say it's rewarding being obedient. Yeah. So it's, it's definitely like this person would pick on you. They would say little microaggressions. They would th say things about you in public. They would Their goal was to embarrass you. But they just made themselves looking very dumb. They made themselves look very dumb. And they made themselves, because they always saw the abundance within you. They saw always saw that you were gifted, okay? They always saw that you, like, you were, because you're beautiful. This person was jealous of your beauty. You were always, like, a very attractive to anybody around you. So, it's not, like, outwardly. Like, it starts from home, right? So, it, this person you saw a lot. You were around a lot. So, it definitely starts from home. Um, so it, it gave you some insecurities. They gave you some type of insecure complex. Okay. And it's definitely like, I was just sitting at my desk and it just all of a sudden, um, just doing my normal work and this download came through. I was like, who was this disgusting motherfucker? This person was very insecure and they, they just wanted you not to be happy. Right. But it's just like, mm -mm, no, you are a very loyal person. And like, mm -mm. They they always knew that I'm, I just keep on saying uh uh because it was just so wrong. It, the feeling that I got whenever this download came through, I was like, who the hell do they think they are? Come on now, no, they were messing with a chosen one, right? And they had a deep knowing that you were chosen, and they knew that you were gonna be far far away from them. Like uh uh, you you were not gonna live your life how they lived their life, and they knew that you would be able to accomplish much more than they were able to accomplish. So that made them be jealous. That made them be very jealous and envious of you. So what did they do? They they started picking on you. They started calling your names. They started um, saying evil things to you to try to get in your psyche. The devil. This person was nothing but the devil. They were nothing but the devil. They they had some addictive behaviors. They were very dishonest. Um, they were always trying to put you in some type of unpleasant situation, trying to keep you held down, trying to keep you bonded. And no, uh-uh. You, that's just not going to work. Not going to work. What do we have now? We have the Ten of Pentacles. Because you're a person, you're like, okay, you're not going to be a product of your circumstances. Yes, this hurts your feelings. And, it, you know, rightfully so, because it would have hurt anybody feelings the evil, nasty, dirty things that they were saying to you. But you're like, mm -mm, I'm not going to be anything like them. I'm going to move my energy away from them. And I got to know that there was a lot of insecurities within them that made them think this way. So now I see you being very confident in yourself, following your intuition, because you've always been beautiful. It was just this person's insecurities that made you like have like second guess, but you know, it, no. It's like if you would have been raised in a different household with somebody pouring into you, telling you that you're beautiful because you are, and it, it, like the, some of the insecurities in your mind would have never come across. All right, but you're following your intuition at this point in time, and like you understand that everybody ain't ready. Everybody is not um, going to choose to be chosen, right? Everybody's not going to, whenever I say choose to be chosen, it's like, because a lot of people get signs of synchronicities and they decide to ignore them, right? 
they do, they decide to not pay any attention to them. They decide to just pretend like it doesn't exist. But the chosen ones, they're going to actually hone in on that and they're going to understand the signs and, you know, like at least study to begin to understand the signs and pay attention to them, okay? So now we have the Knight of Wands. I see that, like, this person is very miserable because they see you glowing up. They see you doing you. They see you um, being very creative, being very driven and goal-oriented. And what? We have the two of swords here. There was a lot of indecision that they were making. That, that they were trying to keep you in indecision mode, but it didn't work, right? Page of Pentacles. Because you have these good things that you've been manifesting and you've been studying. Like what I said, you were studying. You were able to understand the signs synchronized. You were understand, able to understand that the things in your past don't define you. And the things that somebody tried to put on you, it was their trauma. It was their hurt. It was their pain. It was some things that they have gone through in the past that made them think that certain type of way. But you were always this angel. You were always this person that, you know, lived through the light. You were always the person that lived through your north node. We have the four swords here. So we have rest and recuperation and then meditation. So you had to take a break from this person. You had to take a break from this person because ten of wives, they were nothing but a burden. They, they were nothing but a burden. They were sitting here trying to give you advice, but couldn't even follow the own advice that they was trying to give and being very deceitful and just very envious type of energy. But it's time for justice. Okay, it's time for justice. It's time for balance. It's time for them to take accountability. It's like a light is going to be shown, shined on them for all the negative shit that they did. And they're deeply regretting that shit because they see you winning, period. We have the Ace of Swords here. So... And I don't know, like, um, why I feel the need to say this. Because, you know, like, oftentimes in a, in a lot of different communi communities, whether you're Asian, whether you're African-American, whether you're um, um, Latin, um, th there's always a complex about uh, skin tone. And it's, for some reason, the lighter, the better, right? And, and I definitely, like, just see somebody regretting the way they treated you but it's like too late it's too late for that they regret it because their seed has already been sown and they're getting a lot of karma for the way that they did you like growing up like even as a like talking about you whenever you weren't even and like you you forget like not forgot about this person because you remember the things that they used to say but you don't be thinking about this person like that you try to remove your energy from them you try to get their energy away from you and they over here still constantly having to say some shit about you Always trying to, you know, downplay what you're doing, try, um, downplay your successes. And it's just pitiful. It's completely and utterly pitiful. You're going to continue to be consistent and you're going to continue to win. And they're going to continue to see you win. We have temperance here because you deserve, um, you, you deserve everything, right? You deserve the ry rhythm and harmony of it all. You deserve um, this movement, this progress. And you've been consistently working on yourself. No matter the struggle that you had to go through, we have the Queen of Pentacles. You're very down to earth. You're very practical. You're very financially responsible. And you have public recognition here, baby. You will be getting public recognition, um, progress, achievement, rewards, um, gifts, good news. A lot of goodness and greatness is coming towards you because you kept on going. And don't, don't like worry about like anything in your head that comes in your mind that gives you a thought that you're less than. No, that's not your thought. That is not your energy. That is not your thought. That is something that somebody has placed on you that you never deserved. And you're absolutely beautiful inside and out. They were just always jealous of your light. Period, Pookie. You are beautiful. I'm getting the song. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. But I'm getting the uh, the, the um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air original um, version. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. <laughs> So you are definitely the sun. You are definitely the light. And you are definitely just keep on going. And this person was jealous. And just like, I just want to let you know that anytime you feel a doubtful energy, a lower vibrational energy, know that it's not yours. Just do some meditation work and just align yourself. And, you know, just um, remember to um, change the way of your thinking. And that will eventually just dissipate. Okay? All right. A lot of good things that you've been manifesting are on the way. Just continue to work hard. This was somebody from your past that treated you wrong, treated you wrong. And they're definitely regretting it. They're seeing you win, but you don't got time for that. You already, you know, made up your mind that you're, you're not going to be in anybody's energy that does not respect you wholeheartedly. All right. All right. All right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe.
For all of your manifestation needs as well as some personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.